Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling them where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the Feds knew and about I any of my other activities. to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. Murderers, child molesters, they were all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. What's the matter? No speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and no, get back please. in line. No. Whoa. Hey, smart ass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Listen up, assholes! My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. 
Do what you're fucking told. Listen, pretty boy. If you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. This was gonna be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Uh, hey, uh, I'm looking for, uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Go bother somebody else. So if it were just two years, that would be, uh, 730 days. Uh, so how many years, then? Friendly. I ain't too good with arithmetic. <sighs> Five years and almost two months. Hey, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? Get the fuck away from me. Bastard. Listen to these motherfuckers. You go do it. I know you will. Ah, uh, they don't seem too friendly. The war. The war is just beginning. So the record gonna be yours, man. I have to survive 1876 more days out They got him in the showers. Ah, uh, they don't yeah. seem too friendly. Those fucking queers are getting out of here. Excuse me. You know where Leo Galante is? Sorry. Be nice to Cracker's Day was yesterday. Five years and almost two months. Uh, hey, uh, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? <laughs> Get out of here before you make me mad. Uh, hey, uh, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Yeah, yeah. Old guy. Plays chess all day. Days in this shithole until I get Don't out. listen to these motherfuckers. You gonna do it. I know you is. Set us up. Yes, hey, they set us oh, up. Man. The bar. I was wondering. You think you could teach me some? I know you. You're that fucking Kenny who was with Barbara in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> You know, fellas, my ma was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, dead. <laughs> Come on, you grown retard. You and your boyfriend, Barber. Get him! This is gonna be easier than the time I shoved a potato up your mother's ass. Yeah! Oh, he ate spaghetti! You faggots for breakfast? Did you hear me? Break it out of here! Move it! 
We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that mick who's after you, O'Neill. You could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. Oh boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, Dad. Ah, it's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? And most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Pepe here. <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice one. Shit. Nice, kid. Nice. Give me two more of those. All right, one oh. more of you. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? <clears throat> well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And you can handle... <laughs> you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Come on, Winston's offering point. two to one against Pepe. Pepe wasn't a friend of mine, I take that bet. O'Neill's a fucking animal. Yeah, that's it. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Yeah, I know. Name's Al. Good to meet you. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Vito? Name's Sal. Hey, nice on, work in the give ring. Me another 20. Nice work in the ring, buddy. A little more of that, and you'll be ready for a real yeah, fight. That's it. Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neill. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you?
How's old man Galanti know so much about boxing?